Jenny Phillips. I'm excited to walk you through our level one language arts course. There is meaning and power that comes into learning when a course is connected to God, family, nature, beautiful art, and strong moral values. The course connects all of these things as it combines the following subjects into one easy to teach, no prep time needed course. Phonics, reading, spelling, writing, grammar and punctuation, literature, art, poetry, and geography. The level one course set comes with three components, the 368 page full color course book, the Reading Booster B cards, and the Reading Booster B book set. I'll explain how the Reading Booster B cards and book set work, and then we'll dive into the course book. The Reading Booster B cards have 70 cardstock pages and two sticker sheets. Each card focuses on a certain phonics principle or a group of sight words. The course directs you to work on booster cards with your child for five to 10 minutes before most lessons. You can usually practice one to three cards in five to 10 minutes. And once a card is mastered, have the child select a sticker from the back of the booster cards and place it on the mastered circle at the bottom of the card. Review cards are placed intermittently throughout the cards. These beautiful and fun reading booster cards will also tell you when to read the reading booster books. These adorable and interesting books correlate directly with each card. For example, at the bottom of card 30, it says, have the child read the reading booster B book number 11, Snell Takes a Cell. This book focuses on the phonogram AI, which was just learned on the reading booster card. And the book does not contain any words the child has not already learned the phonics principles for. The Reading Booster B book set includes 20 books that correlate with the cards. These books can be read as many times as desired for review and for cementing principles. Okay, let's look at the course book. The lessons in the course book are quite short and very gentle. They were carefully designed to reduce teaching time, yet to be academically robust, exceeding national standards. Let's take a look at how the lessons work. In lesson 28, the child practices sound two of OO, which the child already learned in the Reading Booster cards. Do you see the number target symbol in this lesson? The child should have mastered Reading Booster cards through this number before starting the lesson. Your child learns the phonics principles through the booster cards before reviewing and further practicing those principles in the course book. Some children may need to occasionally pause lessons to work more on the Reading Booster cards. One of the things we love about this course is that the child can move through the reading booster cards as quickly as desired. Children often learn to read words faster than they can learn to write or spell those words. And the reading shouldn't be slowed down by writing, spelling, or grammar. This program allows children to excel at reading at their own pace, not at the pace of other subjects such as spelling. If a child finishes the reading booster B cards before completing the course, wonderful. The child can continue their advanced pace in reading by moving on to the Reading Booster C cards and books while finishing the Level 1 course book. For Lesson 49, you practice Reading Booster cards and Reading Booster books for 5 to 10 minutes. Then the lesson guides you through teaching alphabetical order through simple kinesthetic activities. You then practice poetry memorization with the child. For independent practice in this lesson, the child listens to an interesting audio narration while they look at these two paintings. The audio narration teaches the child to appreciate and study art, and it also teaches them about color wheels and how artists use warm and cool colors to create moods, and what mood is created by using colors opposite of each other on the color wheel. Okay, let's look at lesson 72 briefly. After practicing booster cards, this course instructs you to use our free Good and Beautiful Letter Tiles app to practice spelling words with phonics principles the child has learned, such as words with EA and WH. The Letter Tiles app is used in 19 out of the 120 lessons, but you may opt to dictate the words, have the child write them, or use your own physical tiles if you choose. After the Letter Tiles activity in lesson 72, you and the child watch a beautiful video book titled Pen Pals from the Polar Region to learn more about geography. Books like these can be found quickly on our free Good and Beautiful Homeschooling app and are used to teach geography or art principles nine times in the course. At the end of lesson 72, the child then completes an independent practice section. Lesson 87 starts out with working on reading booster cards and books for five to 10 minutes. Then the child does a short spelling dictation exercise. After that, the child gets to look at fun pictures of nature while practicing segmenting and reading compound words. 
The child then completes a fun activity to practice reading words with EW. Instead of just reading a chart of words, the child reads a fun, clever poem about the wind. The poem is packed with words that contain EW. The child reads the poem three times. Repeated reading is a powerful way to improve reading speed and fluency. To make it fun, the child is instructed to draw an item on the picture on the next page each time after reading the poem. For example, the poem talks about the wind throwing a ball. So one thing the child draws is a ball in the sky. This lesson incorporates phonics, nature, poetry, and drawing practice in a short amount of time. The child finishes the lessons with an independent practice section. After practicing reading booster cards and books in lesson 89, you help the child practice the unit spelling words and then teach the child the drop the E spelling rule. The independent section includes a My Little Journal section. One focus we had in creating these new versions that I am really excited about was to make writing less overwhelming. Pilot children love these writing practice sections, which are included throughout the course. Also in the independent section, the child practices segmenting and spelling words, and then a beautiful painting is used to give reading practice with phonics principles recently learned. One of the things pilot children and parents love about this course are the audio narrations of paintings that are accessed through our free homeschooling app. The child listens to the narration as they look at the painting in the course book. Through these narrations, the child learns how to study a painting and how to write about it using modeled language. Creating wonderful writers doesn't come from worksheets. It's a whole heart and mind approach that takes years of exposing the child to beautiful language and effective writing instruction that pushes the child to think, to dig deeper, and to learn what makes writing beautiful. I'll end the video with a look at some other pages in the course book.